All right, guys, how's everybody doing today? We just got back from holiday after 10 days. So we're basically going to check each and every tank to make sure that everyone's doing good. So let's go. All right, so the first one of our animals that we're gonna check on is this little lad, little Pez. He's all right. So now we move on to the planet tank. I did fill this up a little bit before I checked out this tank, just because it was running incredibly low, obviously with the evaporation being gone for 10 days. We had somebody coming to feed the fish, but nobody refilled the tank to account for evaporation. And obviously this tank is open top so it loses a lot of water. And I would say it actually lost around three or four inches over the 10 days, so it loses a lot, but the heater was still fully submerged, so it was all right. Overall plant growth looking really good. The S-Repens is looking phenomenal. And all the fish in the tank are still doing good. Three Japonicas, two Otosynclus, one Dwarf Garami, one German Blue Ram, and five Black Neon Tetras, which I think really helped the scape look nice and natural. Let me know what you think about this tank in the comments. I really, really, really love it. And I can't wait to do another trim on the s repens later this week so I can really get that going and create that full carpet look that I'm going for. So the 10 gallons done. All the fish are doing good in there. Been fine since we've been away. Now let's go in the fish room and take a look at the rest of the tanks. I did turn the lights on for you just for viewing purposes. Let's first take a look at the five gallon. And if you watched the last video that I published on the channel, you will know that there is a decent amount of blue neon fry in here. We've got three batches in total. Six of those guys, which as you can see are the bigger ones. We've got about 20 medium sized ones that you'll see in a moment. And then about another 20 really, really small ones. All seem to be doing good though. The water in the tank didn't evaporate too much as it has got a lid, so happy about that. I also didn't see any deaths, so happy days. Now let's take a look at the 20 gallon where we've got the Alunacara Blue Neon Undo Reef in there. He's looking good. Thankfully, I would have hated it if I'd have lost him. Coloration's still popping. He's even dug us out a little breeding pit. What a nice guy. Evaporation in this tank was a decent amount down, but nothing that can cause issues. And then there's the Walter Eye. Those fins, you just never get bored of them. Look at those things. Unbelievable. And he'll even come and bite food out of my hand, which is pretty cool. I've never had an African cichlid do that. My wife's blood parrot does that. If you want to see a video of, uh, of a feeding where a bubba, the blood parrot, will actually jump out of the water, let me know. As you can see there, the blue neon doesn't do it. So maybe the Walter Eye is just a little bit different, a little bit special. But overall, I'm really, really happy with the first three tanks. Plant a tank, five and a half gallon. And then this tank, was really worried about this tank just because these guys are the future of the channel and future of the whole breeding program that I've got set up. So really, really happy to see these guys just doing fine and already eating and acting normal, just like before I went away. I did do big water changes on all these tanks before I went away. That's why the water's still looking pretty good. And that's definitely the way to go before you go on a big trip. Make sure you do those water changes, get them out of the way. The next tank we've got is the 10 gallon. Jallo reefs and some Luandas in there. And these guys look to be doing fine as well. So buzzing about that. After looking at the tank, I didn't see any deaths, any struggling fish. So now it's time to feed them. We'll give them a mix of Omega-1 Supercolor Flakes. And then I also throw a few algae wafers in there. But this 10 gallon tank's looking good. And I gave them probably a 50 to 60% water change before we left to visit home. So their water's still pretty clean. And as you can see, the Luanda's still loving life and showing off his coloration. 
The guy's about two inches right now. And I do plan on getting more Luanders from the same group in the future. Here we've got the 55, as you can see, some evaporation. The filter's still working though, and the heat is still fully submerged, which is quality, and the fish are still doing good. And again, just like the other tanks, acting perfectly normal. As soon as they saw me, they were coming to the top of the water looking for food. The blue neon male's looking like he's been trying to get some breeding action going. Madoka White Lips still swimming around. Can't wait for that guy to grow up. He's gonna be a stud. Bright White Lips, deep blue metallic body. Gonna really enjoy seeing him grow up. But overall, the 55 evaporated quite a little bit, but overall, pretty happy. So now let's feed him. All right guys, that's the end of the video. All the tanks have done good, even though we we're away for 10 days. We did have someone come in to feed all the fish every two to three days, made it really, really basic, separated all the feeding containers and stuff like that. If you've got any questions about that, let me know in the comments, maybe I'll do a video of it. But for now, thanks so much for watching. And we'll leave you with the Alunacara Walter Eye, just looking like a stud in the natural sunlight. See you on the next one. Yeah.